Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to fix the error prompting for FTP credential when you install WordPress on Windows Server. So let's jump to the server and see how we can fix it. So right now we are on our server. If we go to the WordPress and see the plugins, if I check the add new plugin and if I try to install the new plugin, you can see it says the connection information please enter your FTP credentials. It is asking for the FTP credentials. So let me cancel it and try to fix it now. We have to go to the WordPress directory and I will go to the WordPress directory inside the inet pub www root and WordPress. Here we have a wp-config.php. So we have to edit this file. We will edit this and we will scroll it to the bottom and we have to add this line like define fs method direct so once this line is entered you can save this and i will close it and now we have to navigate to the php we have a php inside our c drive so i will go to the php and inside this php we have a php.ini file so this is the file we have to edit this file as well so i will edit it and we have to look for the open SSL. So I will find it. So this is the extension that open SSL and we have to enable this extension. So we have to just remove this and the extension will be enabled. So the extension is enabled now. Let's save this file and I will close it. So let me close this as well. Let's try to install it now. So now it says that download failed, no working transport found. If I go to the home and inside the site health screen, you can see here the upgrade directory cannot be created. The WP content upgrade directory does not exist on the server and does not have a right permission in WP content. So it's asking like make sure that the server has a right permission on WP content. So first of all, we have to create this upgrade directory. So let's go to the WordPress. And inside the WordPress, we have this WP content here. And you can see we do not have an upgrade directory here. It's saying that inside the WP content, you should have an upgrade directory. So let's try to create the upgrade directory here. I will create a new folder and will rename it as an upgrade. So the upgrade directory has been created. So let's go back and refresh the page. And here, if we see it again, it says now directory exists but it is not writable make sure you have a right permission on this directory so let's go and try to give the permission to this directory so in order to provide the permission in wp content you can click on this property of wp content folder inside the security you can see the authenticated users right now they do not have a full rights so click on edit and inside the authenticated user click on full control and apply the changes and click on ok ok again so now let's try to refresh and see if the error is still there or not so now you can see that error is not listed anymore so now I think we can install the plugin so let's go to the plugin add new plugin and I will try to install the classic editor here let's try to install it now now you can see it is installed and we have to activate this plugin. So let's activate it and it is active now. If we go and see the installed plugin, you can see the classic editor has been successfully installed without any errors. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video.